Welcome everyone to the Franklin American Mortgage Music City Bowl here in Nashville, Tennessee. Under the lights at LP Field on the banks of the Cumberland River, the North Carolina Tar Heels 6-6 six six out of the ACC, a picture of perseverance and resolve on their season. 13 Tar Heel players left behind in Chapel Hill, a pair of NCAA investigations, decimating the Tar Heels roster. Wait, time flashes, incomplete. LSU wins it. North Carolina loses its ACC opener. A 40-yard field goal to win it. Holy cow. The Tar Heels have come back. And the Tennessee Volunteers out of the SEC. The Vols, a story of resurrection and redemptive qualities able to save their season. There's not one day that I didn't give everything I have to the Tennessee football program. Penalty, fought it, had the game won. Illegal participation on the defense. On the Tigers. And Tennessee, perhaps one of the most devastating losses in school history. 4-0 in November and now full eligible. How did the balls manage this? And under the lights at LP Field, it's the Franklin American Mortgage Music City Bowl, the 13th edition from Nashville, Tennessee. It's North Carolina against Tennessee. Into the boundary, Drone found a seed. Sean Drone, gone, touchdown Carolina. On second and 14, Bray picked off at the 40. And a fumble after that. And Tennessee may have got the ball back. Kendrick Burney had the pick. And Luke Stalker got it back off the fumble. Fourth and short coming up for the balls. Tennessee 6 for 16 on fourth downs this year. They're going to run it. Poole looks like he got the first down. Bray wide open. Touchdown, Jones. Ray out of the shotgun. Quick slam picked off. Juggled and intercepted. Zach Brown. And he's got a convoy of blockers. Zach Brown deep into Tennessee territory. Casey Barth. 16 of 19 on the season. And he knocks through that chip shot to give North Carolina the lead with 10-24 to go in the first half. This pro might want to take a look at him. Second and ten. Ray going up top again. Touchdown, Bulls. Rogers. Second see, and four. Let's see if TJ Yates now with two timeouts get something going. Down the middle of the field, finds his man at the 48-yard line. The aforementioned Ryan Taylor making another catch. Nine-yard pickup. Yates has a man. Touchdown, Carolina. Highsmith. On Malik Jackson. And here's the play action. Looking up top. Let's it go. Has a man. What's the call? Picked off. As your kicker, Daniel, Daniel Lincoln, he's 5 for 5 from 40 to 49. Ray can pick more. First and goal, Tennessee. Play fake. Touchdown. Hunter. With the go-ahead catch. And the extra point is missed, which means it's just a field goal game. No doubt about this one, complete. Back to Jones, and Jones 
Takes it all the way for the first down and then some. What is your fourth and 20 call if you're Butch Davis? It was in and out of the hands of Jones. First and ten. Yates down the field. Open his way. Oh, we got a penalty. And a flag. That's going to be a launch on the reception. Yeah. Big catch by Harrelson. Great catch. And then Jansen Jackson came in. And the officials ruled he led with his helmet. He launched himself at him. No question. Wow. That's going to tag a bunch more yardage on. There's the launch. And mark the first point is how Todd Harrison came that open right there. From the end of the catch. First down. First and ten. I wonder if Dwight Jones gets another opportunity, Mark. Quick slant. There it is. Dwight Jones. And that might be a late hit. No flag. Now you have to get up there and just spike that football if you're Carolina. And Yates stops the clock. There we go, second and ten. 16 seconds to go. Carolina without timeouts. Now they're going to get up there and spike that football. And drawn down to the 17. They got to get up there and spike it. Five seconds to go. What are they doing? Spike it! They're going to lose it! They won't. I got the one second left. I think there's a second left. Is there a flag? Yeah, there's a flag. But I think there was a second left when he spiked that football. Carolina had about 13 or 14 people on the field. We've got to sort this out. Here's the call. The game is over. Oh, it's done. Of all the clock management, mismanagement situations we've seen all season, that may have been the Casey Barth. For Casey Barth, we'll have an opportunity. The offensive team had more than 11 players on the field. The ball was snapped, and it hit the ground with one second remaining. That is a great job by that Big Ten crew. And anybody that questions from 38 yards out. Mark, he made it. Sends us into overtime after all the chaos. Which keeps it himself. No signal yet. Touchdown now. Gray into the end zone. Touchdown! Wow! Unbelievable! Luke Stocker! Play action. And picked off. Start event. And North Carolina now can win it on a field goal. He's hit seven of his last nine passes. Drawn with a great move. John Drawn with a first down. And Drawn and Trace Jones. It's not just Barth, it's the whole mechanics. From 23 yards out. And Carolina takes it home. Butch Davis's North Carolina Tar Heels notch their eighth win of the year in a tumultuous, turbulent season. And the freshman quarterback, Tyler Bray, feeling agony 
and despair on the other end of the spectrum. Does, does anybody think now there's too many bowl games? This was a 7-5 team against the 6-16. Six six no teams could have fought any harder than these two teams fought.